I bring before you today SB 161, a bipartisan bill which simply codifies what schools have been doing for a decade. SB 161 will allow volunteer school employees in the absence of a nurse to be trained to administer emergency epilepsy medication to a student suffering from a life-threatening seizure. Epilepsy affects over 90,000 children in California and claims the lives of 40,000 Americans each year. Uncontrolled seizures can damage a child's developing brain, can impact academic performance, memory, learning, and result in socially emotional challenges. Without treatment, within just minutes, seizures can lead to brain damage or even death. Thankfully, there is emergency medication that can be administered in the event of a seizure. Diastat is FDA approved that is safe and effective. It was specifically designed to be administered by people without medical training. The medication was not designed for nurses or doctors. It was designed for moms, for dads, for siblings, school employees, and other lay people. That's what the FDA approved it for, lay people. This drug's been used in schools in California for 10 years without incident. In fact, the real harm results from what the Board of Registered Nursings has advised under current law. They've advised to refrain from delivering the medication. That is what creates the risk for a child who needs to be treated within one to five minutes. Diastat is just as safe, if not safer, than the two other emergency drugs school personnel are permitted to use under current law. Glucagon for diabetic comas and EpiPen for allergic reactions. Diastat is very safe, effective, 10-year record in California with zero incidence of a problem. SB 161 is supported by the medical community, including some of the world's premier pediatric neurologists. A couple of them were in committee to testify. It is supported by parents, school districts, disability rights groups, and the Epilepsy Foundation. I urge your support on this critical legislation. Eyes 32, nose 4, measure passes.